Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, so my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. It's Friday night. What, what? <laughs> so say hello, hello, hello if you're painting with me tonight. There is our lovely painting. Uh, I'm going to be showing you in all seasons, uh, summer, spring, fall, and winter, on how to do this. You can choose whatever one you want to do. That's up to you, right? That's because we have fun and go create here. And uh, we got to give props to you know who, who. There's the man. There he is. There's the Butterface. Say hi to your fans, Butters. Say hi. Say hi to your fans, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, because you get so excited when I turn the video on. You do. You do. You just want to say hi to everybody. <laughs> you just want to say hi to everybody. There you go. So, say hello, hello, hello if you're painting with me tonight. Let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. I Don't even ask me what the hair's doing. I have no idea. <laughs> hello, 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 Tina B. How you doing, sweetheart? All right, I'm going to show you my handy-dandy table. Button, button, button. There's the button. Okay, so of course we have the Java. That is definite, a definite. And same colors every single party. Blue, red, yellow, white, and a black. There's Donna. Donna's in the house. Hello, hello, hello. Donna, how are you doing, sweetheart? And we got Marsha in the house. Hello, 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 Marsha. How are you doing, sweetie? And we've got Sharon. Sharon's here. Hello, 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 Sharon. How are you? And let's see who else popped on. Ba, ba, ba. Tina, you were the first person on here. <laughs> All right. So the weapons this evening, we have Big Boy. He is a one-inch flat. We have two sized fluffies in the house, a stiff bristled brush with the bristles going everywhere. Shoop. Hello, 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 Penny. How are you, doll? And Yolanda is here. Hello, 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 Yolanda. How are you doing, sweetheart? <coughs> Okay, so uh, we have uh, Tiny. He is a small round for details. We have Mini Me. He is a small shader for details. And like I said, a large and medium fluffy. Of course, Mr. Nifty is in the house. He is our small little brush for details. All right, guys. So say hello, hello, hello if you're painting with me tonight. Let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. Hello, 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 Carol. How are you doing, sweetheart? Hello. Hello, 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 Liz and Amanda and Lois. Hello, 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 guys. How are you doing? <clears throat> Roll call. We're getting there. <laughs> I'm early tonight. Did you guys notice that I'm early? I should get props for being early. I really should. Because uh, it, was, it was looking like it wasn't going <laughs> to Hello, 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 Ellen. How are you doing, doll? I didn't want to have um, the 30 messages of where's the uh, where's the live where's the live so I made sure that I was early I'm early <laughs> hi 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 everything's good 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 awesome Lois thank you so much hello 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 Renee how are you doing sweetheart Renee and Dana in the house what's up what's up <laughs> <laughs> Tina, you did notice? Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do it. Let's get this thing going. Lori, you can't hear anything? Um, well, I don't know how to help you if you can't hear anything because then you can't hear me trying to help you. Can somebody text Lori, tell her to go in and come back, go out and come back in? Uh, that might fix her sound issues. All right. Um, she can't hear me, so, uh, if somebody could please tap on Lori, uh, my fam members in here, and uh, see if uh, she leaves. She, You can hear now? Okay, Lori. Awesome. Hello, 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 Lori. How are you doing, doll? Let me know if you're new to the fam so we can give you a warm Eve's Creations family welcome. 6,000%. Okay, I'm going to put you guys in your handy-dandy holder, and then we will resume uh, roll call. <laughs> Montreal in the house. Hello, 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 Tammy. How are you doing, sweetheart? Hi, sweetheart. All right, so uh, if anybody wants to go uh, into the app and direct any people that are lost, Renee is new. What, what? Renee and Dana, bam, got you. <laughs> Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the fam, uh, Renee and Dana. 
Woohoo! Oh yeah, new and excited. Yes, Lori, I'm excited too. Donna and Pat is here. Hello, 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 Donna and Pat. Pat's my mom's name. Donna and Pat in the house, and you guys are new. Welcome, 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 guys. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Lois is here. Florida in the house. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Lois. That's what I'm talking about. We're in New Jersey. I'm in New Jersey. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Oh, yeah. All right. So. Hi. <laughs> Let me put you guys in your handy dandy holder real quick and then I could grab roll call, but at least you can soak in what we're doing tonight. All right, guys. So let me back you up a little bit. If you need a, a reference, take a screenshot. I can't show you both at once what I'm working on and the painting. So if you need a reference, um, take your screenshot. You can swipe your comments off to the left. Hello, 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 Brenda. How are you? Okay, guys, and um, also, uh, all my videos are always kid-friendly. I'm going to try to watch this thing. If you guys could watch the comments, that would be great. Sent to PayPal. Thank you so much, Lois. I appreciate that. Um, and um, speaking of which, hello, 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 Susie. How are you, sweetie? Um, so, uh, Susie's new. Welcome to the fam, Susie. Hello, hello, hello. Um this didn't show up on the event. No, Brenda, I go live from my page. Hi, Irene. How are you doing, sweetheart? If somebody can go uh, get the uh, people that are uh, slamming the event page right now looking for the uh, live feed, um, if somebody can go and give them a heads up, one of my fan members, that would be great. Need some accounting help, but you're painting tonight. You need to sue some woo. Yeah. Who saw it out, Tina B? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, some, um, if somebody could uh, take a little trippy trip over and help anybody that's lost, uh, that would be awesome. I can't answer questions or press buttons while, um, <coughs> excuse me, while I'm in the live feed, so I can't answer anybody if they're asking me. And uh, I go live from my page. I don't go live from the event. Because some people don't click on the event. And um, if they don't click on the event, if they're not in the event page, thank you, Tina B. If they're not in the event page, um, if I go live from my event and somebody doesn't click the event page, they can't come. They have to find the event page to click on it. And uh, so I go like, r live right from my page. That way you don't have to find anything. If you're on my page, you're going to find me. So I try to make it as simple as possible. But I think other creators go live from their event page. And uh, I think that's what where the confusion is because I don't do that. But um, we'll get it figured out. Hello, 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 Victoria. How are you doing, sweetie? Victoria's in the house. Hi, Cindy. How are you, sweetie? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys. Yeah, so I'm early. We're going to give it a few minutes. I'm going to um, put in all my links. Okay, guys? So uh, let me take care of that. Uh, replays are always, always, always available on my page and on YouTube. Uh, they should be on YouTube by the end of the weekend. So there is my YouTube channel. I um, It's always free to watch, but tips are appreciated because you guys keep the lights on. I have PayPal, right? I'm going to post that. I have um, uh, Venmo. I'm going to post that. And I have, um, yes, I will put the screen on there for you, doll. And I have uh, Cash App. Okay, those are the only three links, guys. Do not touch anything else. Don't touch anything else. I noticed that a spammer was uh, g g going all over the place on everything. So, um, I just lost the comment. Brenda, yes, there, there you go, Brenda. Get your screenshot, doll. Get your screenshot, honey. Um, I 
And uh, so those are the only links. So I can't find anything there where anyone was asking. All right, great, Tina B. I just want to make sure. Thank you so much, doll, for checking for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, guys, if I um, if I if you want to ask me something, and I miss your comment. Just re ask it. Hello, 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 Becky. Um, re ask it. Write it in caps. Sometimes I'm in here and I'm not paying attention in there. Okay, so um. If you ask me something and I don't, I don't answer you and I, or I don't address it, just uh, re-ask me. All right, guys, no worries there. I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas. It's 16 this way, 20 straight up and down. Like I said, I am going to instruct this. Hello, 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 Diane. You and Jimmy are doing good. Excellent watchers tonight. Um, I'm going to instruct this to be all seasons. I'm going to show you. I'm going to be telling you how to do summer, fall, spring, and winter. Okay? So um, make sure you're paying attention to what I'm saying. Because I will say those of you doing spring, those of you doing summer, those of you doing fall. So make sure you're paying attention um, to whatever season you choose to do. Okay, because there's uh, slightly different instructions for those four seasons. All right, spring and summer are very much alike, and so is the fall and the winter. But please, please, please make sure you're paying attention, and you don't get yourself confused, and then you have a winter painting with summer trees. <laughs> that would be the trick, right? <laughs> All right, I also have um, in the litany tonight, I have a flexible piece of cardboard. I'm going to show you guys a trick. So if you guys um, want to go scavenge uh, to get your uh, flexible piece of cardboard, okay, see how it has some flexibility to it and it's really thin? That's the kind you want. So I'm going to show you guys a little, a, little, a little trick. A little trick. I don't know what my hair is doing. Me and my, my hair and I have... Um, are having a love hate tonight <laughs> anyway those of you following my make em ups journey I just went with simple browns tonight because that's what's in the painting and we're gonna get started in about two seconds I gotta electrocute you guys all right so let me do that all right you guys ready for the jolt are you ready for the jolt Woohoo! Uh, will a note card work yes Yes, Amanda, note card, a note card, note, <sighs> note card will work. A, um, like an index card, absolutely, perfect. It'll work perfect. Aw, thank you, sweetheart. Y you like my hair length? Well, see, the thing with the hair length is um, you guys can watch the progression of my hair growing because what I do is once a year, found me hello 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 robin um once a year i go and i so i don't cut my hair all year long i don't cut it and once a year i go and i get it com hi gail i get it completely chopped off and i donate it so if you guys go through my videos you're going to see videos of me having hair like here and hair like here. Um, I'm in the in-between length right now. So, um, yeah, I don't cut my hair. And uh, once a year I get a chop and I donate it. Tina B actually did it along with me uh, last year. So, um, yeah, I get the chop chop and then it's really short and then it grows out. Oh, no worries, Debbie. Don't stress it. You know me. You know me. It's all good. I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the thought. Stars are enabled, guys. They're about a penny each if you know how to do stars. If you don't know how to do stars, like I said, I posted Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. Those of you that send me a minimum um, tip of $5, I uh, send out free nifties to you. So make sure you pop your address in my messages. Um, the message button is at the top of my page. You just hit that button. Right at the top of the page. Okay, it looks like everybody's here that's going to be here. I was kind of, you know, when you watch the replay, you could fast forward through all that. I was uh, giving extra time for people to, to pop in and, and to find what's up. So, um, 
You guys ready? Oh, it's the almighty blank canvas. It's so scary. But we're going to hit it with our almighty brushes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right. So, I'm going to start off with Big Boy. He is a one-inch flat. And um, those of you that are doing summer, those of you that are doing summer, you want to grab white and yellow. And you're going to put this all on the top of your canvas. Those of you that are doing um, spring and fall, you want to grab white, yellow, and red. I missed you, Carolyn. Did I miss you? Um, and white, yellow, and red is going to give you a peach tone. Okay. And those of you that are doing uh, winter, you want to grab white, yellow, red, and blue. White, yellow, red, and blue, and that's going to give you uh, brown tones. Okay, so those of you doing uh, summer, yellow and white. Those of you that are doing spring and fall, yellow, white, and red. Those of you that are doing winter, you're going to uh, want to get brown tones. Okay, and I'm just slathering this on. I am just slathering this on. That is all I'm doing. And I'm sticking and moving, and I'm letting all the colors go wherever, whatever. I am. Um, did I miss you, Carolyn? Did I miss you, doll? No, nope, I got you, hon. I got you, baby doll. All right, so I'm just slapping this on the canvas. Wherever, wherever. I'm just letting all, all the colors gel. Letting all the colors gel. Woo, boy, that is dark. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Let's, uh... Shoot, let's move some of that around. <laughs> Ooh, that wound up being dark, 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 dark. Whoops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Alright. So, how do I fix that, right? How do I fix that? I just uh, swipe it up with my brush like this. I swipe it up with my brush, right? Now it's all on my brush, and I slather it somewhere else on the canvas. Okay, I just, or you could wipe your brush off, doesn't matter. All right, and then I'll wipe my brush off, and I'll grab my lighter colors. All right, I'll grab the lighter colors, and put that, and then just move it around. All right, guys, so, right? When you make an oopsie, that's okay. No worries on the oopsies. Oopsies happen. Oopsies happen, and oopsies happen because I'm mixing right on the canvas. If you notice, I didn't pre-mix my brown. I'm going all sorts of willy-nilly over here. But this background, you can have all these amazing little colors going on. All right? So you don't have to have it be... Uh, all peach you don't have to have it be all brown you don't have to have it be um all hello 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 hi crystal how are you doing sweetheart lois winter was uh all of the colors brown brown and white babe hello 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 judy how are you doing sweetheart judy i go live right from my page i'm glad you found me hi Judy's here, um, brown and white, babe, and uh, Crystal is here. Welcome to the fam, Crystal. Hello, 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 Crystal. How are you doing, sweetheart? And Bonnie's in the house. What's up, Bonnie? How you doing, baby doll? Okay, so I'll run through that again, all right? If you're doing summer, white and yellow. White and yellow, a little bit of red mixed in. Summer. White and yellow, a little bit of red mixed in. Okay? If you're doing uh, fall, white, yellow, and red. Right? White, yellow, and red will give you a peach. If you're doing winter, browns, white, yellow, red, and blue. Okay? If you're doing winter, you want browns. Right? If you're doing summer, you want yellows and peaches. If you're doing um, spring or fall, you want um, if you're doing spring or fall, you want peaches and reds and those kind of colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brenda, for the stars. I appreciate that. You are behind. 
<laughs> you're behind? Well, if you're behind, I'm in front. <laughs> if you're behind, I'm in front. All right, guys. And don't stress the color of this. We're going to mystify it all. And having all these lovely, fun colors just playing around. If you notice, I have like every color on the book going on on my canvas right now. And I am literally just keep brushing over it to um, blend them all together. All right, so no stress in your colors, guys. No stress, and this is this is just step one. All right, this is just step one, and you can literally play with grabbing all of your colors and see what happens. All right, so that's what I did before. Um, the thing is, is if you're doing a season, think about that season. Okay, somebody mentioned they're doing winter, right? Think about that season. Everything is muted tones. Everything is white and browns and, and um, colors like that. Um, if you're doing spring, right, everything is um, soft and pretty, peaches and reds and things like that. If you're doing summer, it's hot, right? So you want to have uh, yellows and oranges and those kind of colors. And if you're doing fall... Fall, you can have anything under the sun, really. <laughs> fall, you know, all those fall colors, right? Your peaches, your oranges, your browns, okay? All right, spring, you can mix some green going on in there. Look, I've got like, it's like a rainbow going on over here. And I am literally just grabbing paint off of my palette, just like this, just throwing all different colors on my brush. It's all I'm doing. And I'm going to town and seeing what's coming out going to town and I'm seeing what's coming out okay so when I grab all the colors it's going to give me a brown of some sort I don't know what okay so if you guys notice and I am just going over this a hundred billion times <laughs> hello hello little Darlene how are you doing good morning sweetheart um, I'm just going over this a thousand times to uh, blend it all together, right? I'm just uh, blending it all together. I gotta grab some more white paint. Okay, so think about the season you're doing, guys, because I don't want to confuse you, right? And I just spat out like five different directions depending on your season, okay? So think about your season. Think about the colors in your season. Think about those things because that if I have an oopsie and I forget to say something, you're going to know because you're going to know what colors go to your season. Okay, so think about what season you're doing. Think about if you're doing spring, if you're doing summer, if you're doing fall, right? What would those colors be? You're doing good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bonnie, for the stars. Woo! We got Bonnie and Brenda coming in with the stars right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> way to make an entrance guys way to make an entrance <laughs> you're doing good darlene excellent i like those kind of entrances those uh those entrances are nice all right so with this being wet with this being wet right very very important it has to be wet whoop it has to be wet. I'm grabbing uh, clean white paint. Oof. I dropped my pen. Oof. <laughs> Anybody else drop something and it's like a serious, uh, thank you so much for the love, Bonnie. Um, it's like a serious, like I just dropped my pen and it was like a serious endeavor to like pick it up. <laughs> Anybody else drop something and you seriously contemplate whether you want to pick it up or not? Like, is it worth it? Is it worth the bend? <laughs> All right. Fluffy in the house. Stiff bristle brush. Bristles going everywhere. If you guys don't own a fluffy, you should buy one from me. <laughs> Boy, that was crass, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, here's fluffy. So you're going to turn around and you're going to grab uh, white paint. You're going to smash, smash, smash. Get out the excess. The mix of colors is beauteous. I like that, Judy. Hello, 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 sweetheart. <laughs> you did that today. You contemplated picking something up. 
All right, I'm going to start in the center. Oh, let's find our center and go a little above it. And I'm going to swirl. Do this while your paint is still wet. What did I say? Do this while your paint is still wet. One more time. Do this while your paint is still wet. And you're going to spread these, these swirls as far as you possibly can. As far as you possibly can. Okay. And then I'm going to grab some more white paint. I'm going to start in the middle and spread outwards. All right. Now, if your paint is tacky, if your paint is tacky, right, this is going to become a textured mess on you. That's why you have to do it with your paint still wet. That's why I'm like moving on, even though most of you are still spreading color on your canvas. Because if I don't hit this with my paint still being wet, I'm going to have a problem. And my paint's starting to get tacky already because I have like all these lights blasting on me so you guys can see what's up. So, um, and you just keep swirling. Notice I only grabbed paint like three times. And look how much softness I'm getting out of this. Right? Look how much softness I'm getting out of this. Okay? I got some, I got some butter. Butters is on my painting. <laughs> Butters, what are you doing on my painting? Get off my painting. <laughs> oh, there's some spam. Hey, guys, I posted about the spam, um, you know, just to let you know. Um, they're hitting it up this time around. I don't know why, but um, they are. So I did post about it in the event page and on my page. Uh, those of you that are new to the fam, 6,000% just realized the three links that I shared is for the tips. And to get onto my live feed, you just go to my page. There's no sign up. There's no reservation. There's no credit card needed. There's no deposit. There's nothing. All right. So always, always, always keep that in mind. And if you see something pop up saying, and it's not from each creation's paint party, it's not a post from me, disregard it disregard it please be careful okay there's no way to stop them from doing the initial post all I can do is tap and block so guys please 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 be careful all right I scroll tap dab my brush I'm going to go back into that white I'm going to smash it and I'm going to add the mist down in here now okay and I'm just swirling I'm just swirling. And you want to go about three quarters of the way down with the misty mist. Okay, notice this is more wet. So it's uh, being a little uh, friendlier to me. Okay, so you're going to go about three quarters of the way down with your misty mist. All right. And all I did, I'm still using that same amount of white paint that I grabbed. Still using that same amount. Okay, and you guys practice this because mist, the mist is a huge, huge part of this painting. Huge! It's huge, I tell you, huge! <laughs> it's a huge part of this painting, guys. So get your mist on. Get your mist practice down, all right? Lots of swirling. Lots of swirly do's. Lots and lots and lots of swirly do's. Okay? getting carpal tunnel over here <laughs> that's what's happening all right a little bit of paint a lot of swirly do when your paint is wet when your paint is wet and that's how you have and you notice I'm sticking and moving sticking and moving I moved all around the canvas all around the canvas all right with that being done now, I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab some uh, red and blue on my dirty brush and some of that yellow, okay, and then some of that white, right, so it's going to give me, I want to have like a brown color, all right, 
just with this dirty brush, right? Just with this dirty brush. Very, very, very preliminary. Per preliminary. You're going to cover this like 10 times. So no stress in it, all right? I just want you to get your focus in. I want you to get your focus in to where we're going. All right, so here's my center. Oh, I'm going to go a little bit above center. I'm going to do the smallest little zigzag zoom. And then as I work it down, I'm going to go bigger and bigger. We're going to go bigger and bigger with the zigzag zoom. Okay? Because we're going to put in, we're putting in the idea of where our path is going to be. All right? We're putting in the idea of where our path is going to be. So, whoop, that was a lot of blue. <laughs> Notice I'm not being too concerned with whatever colors I'm grabbing. Because I know I'm going to be covering this up. Okay? So, as you work your way down, you're going to make this bigger and bigger. You're going to be making this bigger and bigger. Okay? As you work your way down, bigger and bigger. All right, let me come up. Thank you so much for... Hello, 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 Sandy. How are you doing? Thank you so much, Carol, for the stars. Appreciate that. All right. So, uh, let's see. Carol popped on and Sandy. Hi, Sandy. And um, Carol coming in with some stars. I like that. She knows how to arrive to a party. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, it's a stars party. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right. Now, all right. I'm going to give you guys ketchup mustard time now. So breathe. Relax. I just want to come up behind you and make sure this is in the middle. Am I in the middle? I'm a creeper. I'm standing behind you. I'm standing behind you. Okay. So, I'm going to put my brush in the water. And I'm going to let this dry. And it's ketchup mustard time for you guys, so don't no worries, right? But I had to do that quickly because I've got all these lights on me. I've got an overhead light, I got a spotlight over here, I have another light that's putting, you know, because you gotta see me and you gotta see the painting. So I position all these lights around. And um so I gotta hit this like ASAP. Otherwise, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. I got to hit this quick. All right? So don't dry on me. But you guys can use this as ketchup mustard time now while I'm waiting for this to dry. <laughs> me and my sound effects, right? 6,000%. So, um... Anybody that's new, if you have any questions... For me, 6,000% ask them. Um, if you don't ask the question, you won't get an answer. You know what I mean? So questions can only be answered if they are asked. So let me know if you have any questions, anything you want to know, anything about uh, myself or art or what we're doing tonight. If you uh, need other assistance, let me know. I'll try to explain something as best I can. We got a lot of newbies in the house. So, uh, we've got, uh, we've got watchers, we got creepers, and we got painters. And we love them all. And we love them all. So, um, if you're a watcher, you're just watching, hanging out, you're going to paint it later. If you're a painter, you're painting with me tonight, you're painting along with me. And if you're a creeper, that means you're hanging out in the background and you didn't say hi. But that's okay, because, uh... I love you too. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. Sometimes I don't feel like being social, you know, so I'll just watch something and enjoy it without actually engaging because I'm just not in the mood, you know, so I understand that. I can understand that. Like, I do the lives with you guys and then I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm done talking. Yes, Eve actually stops talking. <laughs> Believe it or not, I do stop talking. 6,000%. <laughs> oh, All right, so anybody peek my shirt? You see what I'm wearing, right? 
I like it a lot. So the shirts are available, guys. If you want your shirt, place your order. We got the pre-made, and we have the create your own, okay? So uh, if you have any questions about that, uh, direct message me. I Every Friday at 7 o'clock. Every Friday at 7, Lori, is when I'm on. And then my page has all sorts of videos that I post. I post uh, how to, um, I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> I post um, Hey Eve series, which is like um, maybe three, four videos showing a small painting. I uh, do uh, tidbits. I do a live and large series. I love it a lot. Yes, no, say it's not so. And yes, you like the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do stop talking, Sandy. Um, so the page has a lot of videos, and then I go live on uh, Fridays. Okay. In fact, the Live and Large series is this painting. Because some of you want to get a head start. So, this painting is actually going to be broken down into separate little vids that I'm going to post on my page. So, um, that being said, um, I got Sandy. Let's see. Becky, I got Becky. Oops. Get the wrong button. Sorry. Lori, I got Lori. Brenda's here. All right, I, be I believe I got everybody. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure I got everybody on here. All right. It's roll call time. We got Carol and Tina B and Donna and Marsha and Sharon and Penny and Yolanda and Carol and Liz and Amanda and Lois. We've got Ellen and Renee and Dana and Shauna and Lori and Tammy and Sandy, Darlene, Donna and Pat, Brenda, Susie, Irene, Victoria, Cindy, Becky, Diane. <gasps> I don't really uh, breathe like that. I just do it for effect. Oh, Lisa, you got to go in the corner. You're late. You're late to class. Uh, Becky, Diane, Carolyn, Gail, Debbie, Judy, Crystal, Bonnie, and Lisa. Bringing up the, uh, bringing up the roll call. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swirl tap dab my large fluffy, get it nice and nice and clean, and I'm going to grab clean white paint. Nice and nice and nice and clean. <laughs> All right, so nice, clean, fluffy, okay? Smash them, smash them, get them nice and fluffy, and I'm going to grab clean white paint. And I'm going to dab most of this off. All right. So I want hardly any paint on this brush at all. Like I'm dabbing most of it off. Very little paint on my brush. Very little paint. So I'm dabbing the excess off onto my palette. Okay. And I have very little paint. And then with a light touch. What kind of touch, Eve? A light touch. Light, 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 light. I'm going to start in that middle. And with the lightest touch you've ever seen, I'm going to add brighter areas of mist. Okay, light, 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 light touch, light touch. What kind of touch? A light touch. And then as you're running out of paint, you can press a little harder. That's okay. All right, and if your paint's still wet, that's okay too. All right, if your paint's still wet, that's okay too. So notice I did, I started in the center, right? Because that's our brightest spot right above our path. And I am just going around. Now I'm pressing harder. Now I'm pressing harder to, to soften this out and to spread it out even more. Now if you notice that little bit of white paint, I covered that whole area. Okay. I'm going to grab more paint on my brush again. I'm going to wipe it off. Make sure I just have a tiny little smidge. I'm going to start in that middle again because that's our brightest spot. And I'm going to work this side now. I'm going to work this side now, okay? 
And then as I'm, as I'm spreading, I'm pushing harder. Okay, as I'm spreading, I'm pushing harder. And you wanna work this up the sides of your path. Okay. Light, now I'm pressing hard. Now I'm pressing hard and softening all this out. Soften, 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 soften. Okay, grabbing some more. Wiping it off. Starting in the center again. Working my way out. Grabbing a tiny, tiny bit more. Look at, like, see how much paint's on this brush? Not hardly any at all. I'm going to start up here. And now I'm going to, I'm pressing hard just to spread this paint around because there's hardly any paint on my brush. Hardly any paint on my brush. And if it starts to lift off, see how that lifted off on me? That's lifting off because that piece was still tacky. All right? So leave it alone leave it alone all right we'll address it later okay so if you're starting to get chunks that are lifting off your canvas guess what stop doing whatever you're doing and wait let it dry more because that's um that's what's going to happen when your paint is tacky okay so if it's tacky right it's in that in, bet in between stage it's not dry but it's not wet either. Um, leave it alone and let it dry completely. Okay, grabbing a tiny, tiny smidge more white paint and I'm gonna come down my path on either side. So I'm gonna start in the middle again. I'm gonna come here, start in the middle, come on this side, okay? And soften this out. And now I'm pressing hard. Now I'm pressing hard. I'm really smashing it to soften this all up. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab Big Boy. I'm going to grab Big Boy. And I'm going to swirl tap dab Big Boy. But when I dab him, when I dab him, Right? I'm swirling, I'm tapping, hear me tapping. When I dab him, I'm going to dab him horizontal like this. All right, I'm going to dab him horizontal like this so more water stays in my brush. Okay, so you just do a little horizontal dab like that. And I'm going to grab uh, white paint. Right? Just on the tip, just on the edge. Make sure your edge is razor sharp. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to put in the trees that are in the distance. Okay, so I'm going to hold my brush back here. I'm going to put it straight up against my canvas and I'm just going to pull up. And you're just going to put in. Notice I didn't get any more paint yet. Okay, I'm just putting in these suggestion of trees that are all the way in the distance. Okay, I'm gonna grab some more paint. Right, just on the tip, razor edge. Hold my brush back here. Faster you pull, straighter they're gonna be. I'm just gonna put in the suggestion of these trees that are all in the distance. Grabbing some more paint. And now I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to come back over this and I'm going to pull down. And I'm going to soften all these out. So. I'm gonna soften all these out. So clean brush. 
and I'm just pulling up and down to soften all this out. Okay, now with my brush dry, I'm going to grab white paint, and these are going to come out brighter. They're going to come out brighter because there's less water mixed in. And I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to do the next layer. And these are going to be brighter because my brush isn't wet anymore. My brush isn't wet anymore, so you're going to get brighter white stripes. You're going to get brighter white stripes. Okay. I'm going to wipe off my brush. And soften. Alright. Just following along the line I did. Pulling my brush flat. See that? And we're softening. Okay, just like that, guys. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going to dip my brush into some water. I'm going to tap it. I'm going to do the horizontal dab again. And I'm going to come in here and where I had my lines, but they're really hard to see. I'm just going to hit them one more time, but with a very wet brush. But I'm going to hit them one more time because they're kind of hard to see. So I'm just going to hit a couple of these one more time. Here, there, not everywhere. All right, add a few more in the background. Wipe my brush off. Lift up. Wipe my brush off, lift up, wipe my brush off, lift up. Just like that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, smushing. We're going to start smushing. So, depending on what season you're doing, that's what you're going to start smushing. Okay? So, if you're doing winter, you want to do browns. If you're doing fall, you want to do browns and like some some peachy moments, all right? If you're doing um, spring, you want to do um, light springy colors or even greens. If you want to go into the greens, you can do greens, okay? Same with summer. You can do greens or you can do um, bright yellows, right? So um, depending on whatever season you're doing, that's the color you're going to pick. It's the same process to paint it. You're just changing whatever color you're, you're using. All right. I'll repeat that. So winter, browns. Fall, browns and peaches would be nice. Um, spring and summer, greens. Unless you want like really like, like bright, like pop, you could do like yellows and stuff like that. You know, if you want summer, if you want it to be like bright and yellow, like the sun's coming in and it's summer, you can do yellows in here and then work your way to greens. Okay. So you can do yellows for the summer, like yellow and some little bit of greens. Okay. So, um, what color for the exact picture? The exact picture was, um, browns and peaches. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so browns and peaches were the exact color. So, um, I'm grabbing Fluffy. Alright, and I'm going to show you all the seasons. And then I'm going to work my way to 
what it's going to be. So like I said, if you're doing summer, right, yellows. So yellow and white if you're doing summer. Okay, so yellows and white if you're doing summer. And I'm just going to swirl these in. All right, wiping off my brush. If you're doing um, fall, fall would be peaches. So I'm grabbing white and red and yellow. Okay, fall would be peaches. Okay, if you're doing winter, which is... Um, Go into what we're doing. It's going to be uh, browns. Okay, so you just want to swirl these in. You want to swirl these in. Okay, smaller here and then make it bigger as you're going down. Okay, and notice I'm uh, starting to press hard so I can get that misty effect. All right, so Now there's no paint left on my brush and I'm just going around the edges to mist it out. Okay, and now I'm going to work in this area. All right, so I'm going to turn around, and like I said, if you're doing summer or spring, you want white, yellow, and some blue now. All right? Hello, 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 Amanda. So if you're doing summer, you want white, yellow, and blue, and you're going to get these pretty greens. Okay, so you go from your summer, your yellow colors, into your greens. So you just start grabbing blue with your paint. All right? If you're doing, um, that's for spring and summer. If you're doing fall and winter, we're going to go into the browns. All right, so if you're doing fall and winter, you're going to go into the browns. Uh -huh. I'm going to try to go into the browns. <laughs> there they are. Found them. <laughs> I found the brown. I found the brown, I found the brown. Well, it's kind of like a dark green, but that's okay. This is layer one, guys, so it really don't matter to me. It really don't matter. We're just blocking in colors so we know what's going on. And I'm going to swipe some into my path. Right, so if you wound up with excess paint, just swipe it into your path, okay, to thin it out. Gonna uh, wipe off my brush, and I'm gonna swirl, soften all this out, right on the edges. See me right on the edges, I'm swirling. Swirling right on the edges. Everything's soft, soft, soft in this painting. So right on the edges, I'm, I'm swirling. Thank you so much, Irene, for the stars. I appreciate that. So, your painting at this point is going to look like a muddled mess. <laughs> and that's okay. 
it's going to look like a muddled mess, right? Because you have these softer tones back here. Now you have these darker areas and blocks of color, right? If this is really thick, right? If your paint's really thick right here, sweep it into the path, all right? So if you have really thick, goopy paint, this is super thin. We want this thin, thin, thin. Tin, 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 okay? So if you put this on and it's a lot of paint, it's a lot of paint. Thank you so much, Irene. Sweep it into your path, okay? If you wound up having way too much paint going on, just sweep it into your path. And once you sweep it into your path, wipe your brush off and then swirl the edges. All right? And the brush is going in the water. So, if it looks like a big muddled mess like mine, you're, it's perfect. And just make sure that the paint is super, super thin. And if you have it, uh, like I said, if you end up getting a lot of paint here and here, because you were playing with your colors, just smush it into the path to thin it all out. Alright, 6,000%. You guys got this. You can do this. You can do this, and it's going to look like a mess, and that's okay. And you just want to soften your edges. That's it. Because we're covering all this. We're covering all of this, right? This is just to put a base down, babe. Because if you look at the original, if you look at the original, see, it's all covered. It's all covered with this fun, pretty stuff going on. Okay, so don't stress any of it. We're covering every single part of everything you just painted. All right, guys, don't stress it. All right, I need a soda. Oh, it's soda time, guys. What, what? Oh, yeah, having my soda, right? Ketchup, mustard, ketchup, mustard. Ketchup, mustard, soda time. Ketcha! <laughs> this is still the best sound ever. Just saying. <laughs> best sound ever. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yes, Brenda. Yes, this is definitely a moment of trusting the process. Just make sure this paint is thin, and if it wound up being thick, Smush it into your path, okay? No worries. Ah, that's so good. So good. Nothing like a nice cold drink. All right, 6,000%. Okay, so now, now you want this to dry, all right? Everything needs to dry, all of it. It all needs to dry. That's why I'm saying to do this in thin layers, okay? So everything here needs to dry. This is already dry for me, all in this area. These are already dry, okay? This is still a little tacky, so I got to give it like about five more seconds, and then that's going to be good, okay? So you want all this to dry. What did I just say? Let it dry! <laughs> Let it dry. <laughs> okay, so. Butters is looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Butters is looking at me like I'm crazy. Thank you guys so much for the stars so far. Uh, 1,300 stars. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys keep the lights on. I'm not kidding. It's the truth, right? Art supplies aren't free. Um, I am... Uh, I'm still working on the Mardi Gras. Let it be. Let it be. Leave it alone. <laughs> I'm still working on the Mardi Gras painting. That's going to be done by this weekend. Uh, in two weeks, you guys are going to be uh, painting. Uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you see what you guys are going to be painting in two weeks. So in two weeks, right? So I told you guys next Friday is going to be Mardi Gras. So when I post that, Make sure you hit that share button because it's only a week before it starts, okay? But then in two weeks, in two weeks, you're going to be posting this. You're going to be painting this amazing painting. 
Ta-da! Hello, 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 Lisa. Uh, thank you so, so much for stopping in to say hello. So, first dibs, guys. You're getting first looks. Two weeks. Two weeks, you're painting girl code. Okay, and this one's a lot of fun, and I know I, I'm, all my videos are kid friendly, and I have the cocktails here. You can turn this into anything you want. Um, you know, if, uh, your girl is, uh, you guys like it, love it, cool. Awesome. I'm glad you like it, because that's what you're doing. <laughs> You like the pink and the gray? Yeah, fan favorite. Well, I figured Valentine's is coming. So, um, we're going to do girl code. And you can write whatever you want on your books, right? You have a little compact here. Uh, you got your pretty flowers. Um, you could always switch this out. You can make this into like a candle if you want to. You can, um, you know, you could always change it up in yours if you want to make it a little more kid-friendly or teen-friendly. Um, totally up to you. Okay, guys, so that's, that's the whole reason I've never shared this painting before to paint because I try to stay kid-friendly and it has the wine in it, but I'm like, you guys, are, you can change it. You can switch it up. You know what I mean? It's not a, I was overthinking it. I can overthink concrete, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, two weeks, two weeks, okay, guys? <laughs> yeah, you can overthink concrete, so, I came across and organized in my room, and, uh, I was like, uh, you know what, we should do this one, because I know you guys are going to have a lot of fun with it, and it's perfect. For Valentine's Day coming up. You know what I mean? So, all right. Now that this is all dry, I want to swirl tap dab um, fluffy. All right, get them nice and clean again. And we're going to do more mist to soften it all out. All right? So... Swirl tap dab and a lot of mist in this painting. A lot of mist. Okay, going to grab that white paint. Same process before. A little bit of paint on my brush. And swirling, swirling. Starting in the middle. Light touch. Light, 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 light touch. Okay, don't lose this layer of dark right here. Don't lose that. Don't lose your layer of dark. You're going beneath that. Okay. Light touch, and then you can start spreading harder as you're spreading it around. All right, and you know that that area you had between this and this, guess what? If it didn't blend out very well or go together very well, guess what? You're just going to mist it out. Now I'm pressing hard to spread this paint around. I'm scrubbing. I'm scrubbing. I'm a scrubbing. Okay, more white paint, dab it off, light touch, and then harder. Now, if you're doing winter, if you're doing winter, you want a lot of this. Like a whole lot, a lot, a lot of it. If you're doing winter, you're going to bring this all the way into here. Okay? If you're doing winter, you're going to bring that all the way into here. Okay? You're going to miss this all the way through the whole thing. All right? So if you're doing winter, you're coming down here. Okay? So you start again. You put more. And you bring it all the way into everything, okay? If you're not doing winter, you stop right where these two pieces, this, these colors and these colors meet. That's where you stop, right here, okay? All right. Now, now I'm going to grab a uh, big boy. And we're going to put in the trees that you can see. 
I'm so excited to show you my trick. If you missed it before, guys, hello, 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 Becky. Get yourself some flexible cardboard or somebody mentioned before about an index card. That would be perfect. Okay, because I got a really nifty trick for you guys. Hi, Becky. How are you doing, sweetheart? What's up, Captain? Becky's in the house. Right on time, as usual. All right. I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. And we're going to dab him. Uh, we're going to um, wipe him off, as usual. I'm going to grab uh, white paint. Okay, clean white paint. I'm going to wipe it on the side. Make sure I have that chiseled edge. <laughs> we're going to hold back here. And we're going to put in the trees that you can see. Okay, so there's one here. Right? Right from the mist up. Ready? Bam. Okay. More white paint. Wipe on the side. Make sure I have that flat edge. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing, sweetheart? Yep, I'm I'm not I'm nowhere near done. <laughs> we are nowhere near done, that is for sure. Okay. There's one on this side. Alright, so bam. Put one in here. Okay, leave it alone. Because the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. Leave these alone. Stop playing with them. I'm going to come back and make this one darker in a minute. I'm going to put another layer on them, but leave it alone. And then you just smudge out the bottom with your finger. You're good tonight? Good. Glad to hear it. Okay, now we need another one. More white paint. Okay, there's another one over here. He's thicker, so I can press hard with my brush. We'll leave it alone. Oh, thank you so much for the stars, Tammy. Smudge out the bottom with your finger. Alright, 6,000%. There's one over on th on this part over here somewhere. So I'm going to just take that one I already put in, make it bigger. Okay, put it in, smudge out the bottom, leave it alone. You got the stars! Yay, Tammy! Good job, sweetheart! You figured it out. Good job, doll. All right, grabbing more white paint. There's another tree in between these two that's further down. So I'm going to start further down. Drop that in. Smudge out the bottom. Okay, last two that we're doing. There's a big guy over here. Okay. So, he's further down. Right there. Right there. Smudge out the bottom. Then on this side. There's a big guy right here on this side. Whoa, look at that. See, that's why you always have to look at your brush. You see that? Do you see that? <laughs> I was trying to sneak me. <laughs> that's why you always look at your brush. <laughs> Got it. We're good now. <laughs> and the other big guy is right here. Okay, so, <laughs> now, notice how you have all that in the middle of your brush, but not on the edge, okay, wipe that off, right, that was trying to get me, and I'm going to get clean white paint, I'm going to stop using the pile that has paint mixed into it, because I'm being lazy and not getting clean white paint, so, guys, 
Grab clean white paint. Stop using that pile that has all the other colors in it. <laughs> all right. Now, clean white paint. I'm going to hit them again. All right. These guys have to stay small. So you're just going to hit them again. All right. You can hold up close now and you can do swipes down. Make sure you're staying with them being skinny and small, okay? I'm gonna grab some more clean white paint. All right, I'm gonna come over here to this guy. Okay, and I'm just doing little swipe motions like this, holding up close to the bristles, but my, my brush has a nice edge on it. Smudge out the bottom. All right. And you're going to do this to all of your trees. And as you get closer, they're going to get bigger. Did my line go a little bit wonky? Yes, it did. Am I going to just leave it alone? Yes, I am. You know why? Because trees aren't perfectly straight up and down. Is it going to bother me? Absolutely. Do I care? No. <laughs> oh, it's most definitely going to bother me. But I'm going to leave it alone. Because if I keep playing with it, my tree is going to wind up being huge. So we're going to be okay with the fact that I had a little wiggly do in my trunk right here. I'm going to, we're going to be okay with that. Now, if your brush is looking like this with all the paint in the middle part and not on the tip, wipe it off. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. All right. What are stars? Stars is, um a product that Facebook offers to be able to send me support. So when you hit the stars button, there are a penny each approximately, and it winds up um, sending me a tip. Um, so you have to, birch trees have that sometimes. Exactly, Tammy. Um, so you basically you purchase them through Facebook. I don't know how to do that. You got to ask the ladies in this chat how to do that. Um, but you purchase them through Facebook. And then when you hit the stars button, that sends me support. That's what those are. Yes, birch trees have wiggly doos in them. They do. They do. So I'm going to have to be happy with that wiggly do that happened. Okay, so this guy, he's in front, so he has to be uh, larger than all the other ones. Okay, so as you get closer, you want them further down and you want them bigger. All right, hitting this guy. All right. So you got 310 stars for five and change. Okay, so what what's that work out to be? About it's about a penny and a How do you buy them? Um ask uh It took me a long time to figure out how to get stars. I think I finally typed out Facebook stars to the web. <laughs> You just bought three 
110 for five and change. All right, so so on your end, that's um, almost two cents each. Oh, no, that's fine, Tammy. No, no worries there. That doesn't bother me at all. Absolutely. You guys help each other out. And um, I don't know what it looks like on your end, so thank you, Tammy, for the info. I appreciate that. You bought a bunch, too, and then you have them in storage. Okay, so you can bank them. That's cool. That's cool. You can bank them and then use them whenever you want to use them. That, that's good to know. How do you buy them? Becky, I have no idea. Somebody answer Becky. <laughs> Tammy, answer Becky. How do you buy them? How do you buy them? I don't know. Okay, so now that I have these trees in, I'm going to switch to tiny, and I'm going to make sure I have some nice, <laughs> thank you so much, Tammy, appreciate it. Click the star and it asks you, okay. There's a star symbol where your comments and typed. If you tap it, it will take you to a purchase page. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Good job, Tammy. Good job, guys. All right, so I'm taking my round brush, and I have some water in it, and I'm going to make my white paint nice and loose and thin. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to make sure my white paint is nice and loose and thin. And I'm going to follow along my trunk, and then I'm going to pull out to make branches. All right, I'm, I'm going to use nifties for these. I'm going to use nifty for the, these guys back here. All right? So, but there's branches on this guy. So I'm going to follow along my trunk, and then I'm going to pull out. Follow along my trunk, pull out. Nice, loose, thin white paint. All right? Follow along my trunk, pull out, go behind the other dude. All right? Follow along my trunk. And pull outward. Alright, I'm going to use my smaller brush for the two trees in the back. Follow along my trunk, pull outwards, go behind this dude right here. That wound up being really big. So you know what? With all the mist going on, you could literally just smudge it out and try again. Did you notice how I did that? I just smudged it out and I'm going to do it again. <laughs> That's one cool thing about having a, a lot of mist in your painting. <laughs> if you screw up something that's white, you can just get rid of it. trying hard to follow the painting um, that is um, in the original. But, you know, you can add your branches wherever you want to add your branches. It's your, it's your tree. Just make sure you're paying attention to which tree is in front of which, okay? And you want to make sure you have some branches going into this part right up here. 
All right, so now I'm going to grab my nifty brush because he's even smaller. With some white paint. Okay, Shauna, you have a great night. I hope you feel better, hon. Okay, so I'm doing these with, with, with Mr. Nifty now. Okay, Debbie. Sounds good, hon. Okay, and then some of those thicker branches, I'm just extending them with Mr. Nifty. Okay, so. Now we're going back to smushing. Smushing time, it's smushing time. Oh yeah, time to smush, smush, smush. We're smushing. Yes, we are. Okay, so we're going to smush with our medium brush, though. Alright, we're going to smush with our medium brush. Ketchup mustard, Amanda? Okay. <laughs> you want me to ketchup mustard? All right, no worries. Um, my nose is tickling me. <laughs> ketchup mustard time. Somebody requested. Yours is good, Becky? Okay. That's good. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Just blew my nose. <laughs> my nose was tickling me, though. It was a tickle, tickle. I had some tickle, tickle going on. All right. So, we have Carol and Tina B and Donna and Marsha and Sharon and Penny and Yolanda and Carol. And Liz and Amanda and Lois and Ellen and Renee and Dana. Hope you guys are doing great. First timer, Shauna, Lori, I hope you're doing good. And we got Tammy and Sandy and Darlene. Donna and Pat are hanging out with us for the first time. What, what? Brenda, Susie's first time with us. Welcome to the fam. We got Irene and Victoria, Cindy, Becky, Diane, Carolyn, Gail, Debbie, Judy, Crystal, Bonnie. <gasps> Lisa, Becky, Elizabeth, and Tammy all in the house is what I'm talking about. What, what? What, what? All right. So, um, I said we were going to smush, but we're going to do something else first. So, there's two little trees hanging out right here. Okay? Right there. Two small little trees. All right? So, I'm going to take, um... I'm going to take my round brush and I'm going to uh, loosen that white paint up again. And Kimberly's here. Hi, Kimberly. You, you were here, but you came in late. Up in the corner with you, Kimberly. Bad girl. 
All right. And then I'm going to come into these misty areas right here. And we're going to wiggle do one there. And we're going to wiggle do one here. Okay. Make the bottoms a little bit fatter. And now I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty. Nifty in the house, right? You got to make sure your paint is nice and loose and thin, though, because none of this is going to work if your paint's too thick. Okay? So, um, Mr. Nifty's just a really tiny brush for details. Okay? And I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to add the branches onto, onto these guys. All right. And paint brushes aren't markers. If you press harder, it doesn't mean more paint's going to come out. It just means you're going to get a thicker line. <laughs> That's all that means. That is all that means, guys. So don't be pressing harder. Grab more paint. You guys sleeping out there? Did I just wake you up? <laughs> Close up. There it is. Bam, bam. Our two little guys are right there. Okay, so smushing. Medium brush. All right, so this is where the seasons come in again. Okay, guys? So the seasons... <laughs> The seasons all depend on your color choices. All right, now this is your first layer. So if you're going, uh, if you're going into, if you're doing summer, right? I'm gonna grab my yellows again. If you're doing summer, you want to tap in uh, bright yellows, bright yellows, bright colors, warm colors. Okay, and you're gonna start where those trees are. All right. So if you're doing summer, that's what you want to do. Okay. And, and um, then, as you work your way closer, you can make these into yellows, you can make these into greens, um, you know, if you want some nice greens. So what we're doing is we're going to be changing all sorts of colors. So th these would be your color choices for uh, spring and summer. Okay, summer I would just make them brighter. Um, and then spring, spring, you could also incorporate some pinks in there if you want some pinks. Okay, so spring and summer. All right, if you're doing fall or close to what I did, that is all uh, browns and oranges. So it's browns, oranges, and yellows and peaches. Okay, so, but we're doing our darker colors right now. So it's browns and oranges. All right, so I'm grabbing white, I'm grabbing yellow, I'm grabbing red, I'm grabbing blue. I'm going to smash that all together. Okay, and get myself some browns. And I'm going to just use a couple of different browns. Some darker browns, some lighter browns. All right, all that sort of stuff. You're using your darker colors first. You're putting your darker colors down. You're putting your base colors in. All right, so you're going to use all different variations of that. If you're doing winter, winter, you want to start going into, um, remember I told you to extend your mist all the way down? So winter, you're actually closer to being done than any of us because you literally just want to do like whites, some browns and some whites. Okay, that's all you want to do. All right, so that being said, I'm going to tap in, 
All right, lightly tapping. Don't lose your misty areas. All right, I'm going to tap in these different colors. Okay, I'm going to tap in these different colors. All right, so don't lose your misty areas, okay? And then I'm going to change it up, and now I'm going to grab some red and some yellow and some white, and I'm going to tap in something different all around the same color scheme. And you're just going to make these little sections using your different colors. Okay, you're going to make these little sections using your different colors. Okay, and we're just tapping. And we're using the smaller brush, so this way we don't wind up with these big, huge sections. Okay, so you're just going to make these little sections of different colors. And again, this is the base coat, so you're going to wind up covering over most of this. You're going to wind up covering over most of this, okay? We're just getting a nice dark area color to put all of our pretty branches and trees and our little flowers and everything else going on. All right, back here is the darkest. Get lighter as you move down. So back here will be your darkest. Lighter as you move down. All right, so just doing all these different little color combos, okay? Like I showed you. Now think of your season. Okay, think of your season because spring and summer would be yellows and greens and spring would have like yellows, greens, and pinks and stuff. All right, so if you're doing uh, the one that's like my painting, which was more of a fall color, okay, I'm grabbing browns, I'm grabbing yellows, I'm grabbing reds, all that happy stuff. All right, and uh, you just smush on the bottom of your trees there. Okay, if you notice, I'm sticking and moving, and I'm just making these different sections of different colors that I'm going to add all of the pretty flowers to later. And like I said, if you're doing winter, if you're doing winter, you're, you're in browns and whites. That's it. Browns and whites. That's all you're doing. Okay, and... Grab the smaller brush so these sections stay smaller. And you just work your way down. You just work your way down the triangle. That's it. All right. Just work your way down the triangle. That's all you're doing. Sticking and moving. Sticking and moving. You don't want this thick and goopy. You're sticking and moving. Right, because you're going to need to paint on top of this, so getting our smash on. We're getting our smash on and just grabbing all sorts of colors and getting them on here. That's it. Designating our sections where our flowers are going to go. That's it. 6,000%. And I'm going to show you how to do the flowers, but I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you know me, I bring you to like layer three. So I'm going to show you how to do your flowers and, and different things, but um, am I going to do the whole entire painting exactly how I, you know, to the, to the finish line? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know why? Because this is your creation. This is your world. And I want you to have fun with it. And, and the, uh, the, the flowers and all of that stuff is literally just smushing. Exactly what we're doing now. And it's just layer and layer and layer of smushing pretty colors and tapping things in. And I'm going to show you how to do all that. But am I going to do every single every single piece of all the different colors? No. Not happening. If there's something you'd like to see me do, 6,000% uh, ask me. And I will definitely show you. But, um, you know, I'm going to leave the uh all the pretty flowers and the colors all up to you like i said just remember what season you're in okay spring you're gonna have so many different pretty pretty colors pastel colors you know the fall you're gonna have so many pretty colors with fall winter is pretty much browns and whites okay so that would be winter and then summer i would do uh yellows and greens 
That's my opinion. You can do your seasons any way you want to. All right, so where this is and this is, just take your finger and soften this out. All right, or you can take um, your fluffy, if that's dry already, mine was dry already, so it wouldn't soften. So I'm gonna swirl tap that fluffy now. And I'm gonna go into my white paint and smash, smash, and I'm just gonna soften this out right here. Okay, I'm just gonna soften all this out. All right, so there's a smoother transition between the mist and the plant area. So I am just taking fluffy with white paint and I'm softening all this out where the two meet, the mist and the foliage. Okay, nice light swirls, nice light swirls. Nice and light, that's all. Just softening and softening. Just so you have that area, that transition area between the mist and the plants is softened out. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. Thank you so much for the stars. Thank you, everybody, for helping everybody and gelling and figuring out and discussing how to get the stars. You guys are amazing. Uh, like I said, we're all family here. We all help each other and support each other. So you guys are amazing. And um, we're going to be doing the path. I'm going to show you the trick for the birch trees, okay? And then I'm going to show you the other little branches and trees that are going on. And then I'm going to show you how to do the final layer of adding your flowers. And we're going to be all set. All right, guys? So, woohoo! <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. That's it. Let's do it. Okay. So, catch up mustard time for yourself a little bit here. Again, don't make this crazy thick because you're going to want to paint over it. All right. I'm going to show you. Let's do our first layer on the path to get that more defined for you. And now that you have your bushes in, we know where the shadows are going to go. All right. Plus gives the foliage time to uh, dry. Then I'm going to show you my birch tree trick, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take a uh, big boy. Well, let's start off with mini me because some of you just go big boy crazy. So we're going to start off with mini me. We're going to start off with mini me, right? Remember our path that's disappearing? All right, one thing you have to remember, one thing you need to remember is do not lose these misty areas when you go to put your path in. Okay, see how I have the misty area all on the sides here. Okay, do not lose that when you go to put your path in. All right, they're very important. All right, see how they're still all in there, okay? And then when we get down to the point of where the flowers are, we're going to start adding in the shading, okay? So we're going to start off with uh, Mini Me, because I know some of you go big boy crazy, and you start flicky doing and zigzag zooming. And then before you know it, you lost all of your mist. <laughs> Your, yours are all gone already. <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> all right, it's going to be darkest here. So I'm going to make myself a dark brown. I'm going to make myself a dark brown here. All right. <laughs> yours too. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, you guys are hysterical. Well, you can put them back in, you know. <laughs> All right, we're going to flicky do. We're just going to flicky do here, there, not everywhere with the darker color. All right, I'm going to zigzag zoom. 
okay until all the paint is off of my brush all right now I'm going to grab um, some yellow to put with my brown and a little bit of white make a lighter brown color I keep getting green. I think the universe wants me to paint spring because I keep getting green. Instead of my browns, I keep getting greens. <laughs> I'm not getting a... <laughs> I am talking to you. I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. All right, there's the brown. All right, so... Yeah, you guys, we can, you can just stop. If you lost your mist, stop. Don't try to put your mist back in now, okay? Because you're probably going to lose it again when we do the path. You could put it in when everything's said and done. You could actually put it back in, all right? So just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Because <laughs> you're just going to wind up with a big mushy mess, and it's going to mix in with everything that's going on. You can put it in back in later, all right? Don't stress it. No worries. All right, I got this lighter brown now, and I'm just going to um, zigzag zoom in some lighter brown areas. Okay. Zigzag zoom in. All right, I'm going to go back to um, darker brown. No more touchy. No more touchy. Touchy, touchy. Leave it alone. Okay, I'm taking the darker brown, and I'm very lightly just zigzag zooming. Very light touch. What kind of touch? An extremely light touch. With the darker brown on my brush, and I just want to zigzag zoom throughout this. Just to get all those little variations. But notice it's very tiny, right? Very tiny back in here. Tiny, tiny. And then as you get closer, you make your lines bigger and bigger. Okay, as you get closer. Now, if you're doing winter, you want to do this in grays and blacks and, and maybe some blues. If you're doing fall, like me, you want to do it in browns, darker browns and lighter browns. If you're doing spring and summer, it would be lighter and then even lighter browns. Maybe even some orange moments. Okay? So keep that in mind. Close up! All right, see all those tiny little variations of color in there? Can you guys see that? All right, real small. And then my lines get bigger and bigger as I get closer and closer down the path. All right? Now, since I hit this point, now I'm going to grab uh, Big Boy. Now I'm going to grab Big Boy. Swirl tap dab Big Boy. I'm going to go into that dark paint, and with the dark paint, I'm going to go along my edges. Zigzag zoom. I'm going to zigzag zoom, right, and then bring it out. All right, so with the dark paint, I'm going to go along my edges. Don't go up in here. I know your zigzag, your zigzag zoom happy, but leave this alone. Small little lines back there. And now I'm going to grab the lighter paint. And I'm going to zigzag zoom in with the lighter color. Well, it's supposed to be a lighter color here. Let me just grab some white. Okay, and if you're doing winter, 
right? I would do black, uh, gray or blue or anything along those lines. All right, now I'm going to grab some black paint, small amount of black paint, and I'm going to zigzag zoom in these shadow moments. Where my bushes are, okay? Zigzag zoom, that's all you're doing. All right, black paint. Zigzag zoom in some shadow uh, areas. Flicky do, flicky do into the path. Okay, turn my brush this way to get some really small little flicks up higher. Okay, just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You love the colors, right, Cindy? Yeah, they're very pretty. Okay, so birch tree trick. You guys ready? Watcha! Check this out. This this is I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this moment like all night <laughs> to show you guys this. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. Make sure your black paint ain't goopy. If you got like a line of like if you got goop on the top of your black paint, move it over. Don't kerplunk it in, move it over. All right, because it's been sitting on your palette for a while, so might have got a little goopy on top. Just move that over. Don't kerplunk it into the rest of your paint. So what you want to do is you take a thin line of paint on your cardboard. Okay? Check this out. All right? Can't wait to see, right? I'm so excited to show you guys. Close up. Woo! All right. So you're going to go start with your bigger trees, okay? Start with your bigger trees until you get a hang of it. And then you can switch to your smaller trees once you have a hang of this. Thin line of paint on your cardboard. You're going to put it onto the side of your tree and you're going to flick forward. Now you're going to do this with a little curve because your tree's round. Check that out. You see that? Look at that. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. Now, use a little self-control because I want to do my whole tree now. Just doing that to it. <laughs> going to get some more black paint. I'm going to move up here. Again, curving my line a little bit. And I'm going to put in these moments. So I line this up with the edge of the tree. And then I do a little curvy flick. <laughs> it's cool, right? Right, Elizabeth? It's cool. All right, line this up. Curvy flick. Okay, and then you could wipe your cardboard off. You can wipe your cardboard off, and then any part that might have been thick, you can just do a couple little scrapes on it. <laughs> you can do a couple little scrapes on it and fix it, right? So cool. I've been waiting to show you guys this all night long. It's like so awesome and it's so easy to do. And it gives you like perfect little birch areas that, you know, you would be like driving yourself nuts over. All right. So a little bit more paint on my edge, right? Come up here, right? Do one up here, right? A little bit on the branches. Again, get comfortable with it. And then you could do your smaller areas, all right? And you're just going to do these. And let the paint run out on the cardboard because, <laughs> thanks guys, thanks for all the likes. Let the paint run out on the cardboard because then you're going to get your gray areas. You're going to get these gray areas in here. Okay, so do this with very little paint on the cardboard and you get the gray areas in here. And try to use some self-control and not fill all of your trees up. 
<laughs> doing this. All right, gonna grab some more uh, black paint on my cardboard. And if your cardboard just starts to get soggy, grab a new piece. Very true, Carolyn. Yep, yep. I've done this with a credit card too, an old credit card. Mm-hmm. Very true. Same, same thing. Yep. Absolutely. You got it, girlfriend. You can do it with a cardboard, too. A, a cardboard. <laughs> you can do it with a credit card, too. Okay. Make sure that you're not going over your branches that are supposed to be in front of the tree. Okay. So if you have a branch that's supposed to be in front of the tree, don't go over it. And you're just going to add in all these little moments. And if you uh, go out of your tree, that's what spit's for. That's what spit is for. Mine, mine is probably um, closest to fall. My painting. Okay, with all the leaves changing colors. Um, so mine is probably depicting fall more. Now, if you get a thick one like that, leave it alone for a little bit. All right, get the extra paint off of the cardboard first. Okay, and or grab a clean piece of cardboard, and you can go in where you did it a little thick, and you just give it an extra little scrape. And then you can turn around, and you can turn your cardboard uh, sideways, and you can put lines in, if you really want to get into it, right, so if you get a thick piece, you could turn it sideways and put all these, like, little lines in it, okay, so have fun with it, experiment with it, see what you like, what you don't like, okay, like I said, if your cardboard's getting soggy, grab a new piece, Okay, and uh, that's how you do those easy peasy lemon squeezy like. Now, if you don't want to do the cardboard trick, if you want to do this with the paintbrush, um, it's pretty much the same type of scenario. Except you're going to use a really light touch. So, if I take Mini Me, so I'll tap that Mini Me. He's a small shader. Okay. And I'm going to grab some black paint right on the edge of the brush. Just on the edge. And with an extremely light, 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 light touch. Okay. You can do, uh, you can flicky do. Okay. And you can flicky do these pieces in. And then just tap them with your finger to get the gray moments. Okay, so you can flicky do these in. Very small amount of paint on my brush. And then you tap them with your finger to get the gray moments. So that's how you would do it with a paintbrush if you want to do it with a paintbrush. Okay. And uh, there you guys go. All right, so... Just like that, you have your birch trees. All right, so you can do it with a paintbrush too. All right, you can do it with a paintbrush too. All right, so. Add a little bit to the guy back there. 
All right. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to put our second layer of foliage in. Then I'm going to show you the branches and whatnot that are um, falling over. Uh, last layer of the path. And then you guys will be, um, you know, you can do your flowers and your brighter colors accordingly. So, um, I'm going to swirl tap that fluffy. All right, now I'm going to go into my foliage and I'm just going to make brighter colors now. So I'm going to grab my uh, red with some yellow, smash, smash, and tap, tap. Okay, so I'm just putting in here, there, not everywhere, because you don't want to lose those dark areas. And you just tap in another layer of the foliage. Okay, notice I didn't grab any more paint, and I'm sticking and moving. I'm tapping and moving the brush around. And I'm also not losing these dark areas. Okay, so that's what you would do. To your whole thing and again your colors are based on whatever season you're doing all right like I said with spring you turn around and do uh, all sorts of colors right all pastels with the fall you're staying in the realm that I'm in I'm literally just grabbing yellow paint right now and tapping that in notice I left an area of dark right here okay I'm sticking and moving, right? Thin, 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 thin layers of paint. Thin, thin, thin. Thin, thin, thin layers of paint. Okay, just grab some red paint. Gonna tap that in. This is just red now. Right, very thin. Thin, thin, thin. Notice I used, uh, what, one, one thing of paint, one little... Right, filling my brush up, right? That was one swipe of paint on here. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tap up and down, all around. Right? Just using that little bit of paint that I just grabbed. Going on the bottom, smashing that out. Right? Small, thin amounts of paint. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Okay, so small, thin amounts of paint. And you can add in your colors accordingly. All right, so you're going to do this to all of your pieces until you're happy, happy, happy. All right, that, so this is like layer two. Now, my original, you know, you guys, you already know, my original um, probably has about six, five to six layers with the foliage. Okay, so, um, right, I'm just tapping, I'm just tapping, right, put in that initial line, and then go underneath it with hardly any paint on my brush, and soften that bottom part out. Okay, small amounts of paint, very small amounts of paint. Like I said, if you're doing winter, this would be whites and blues and some browns. If you're doing um, summer, lots of uh, bright bright colors if you're doing spring lots of pastel colors all of those things incorporated all right and now i'm going to grab tiny all right i'm going to uh get some nice loose thin white paint and i'm going to add the last of the trees that are on this painting so i have a tree branch that broke it's coming out of this area so I'm just going to shoop, just like that. And then you just lessen, you know, you kind of like lift your brush off as you're putting this on to get the thin area. Okay, so there was a tree branch that broke. Add that in. All right. And then there is another uh, tree over here. Okay, let's add him in. Okay, and so I'm picking where, I'm picking a piece, 
Okay, Becky, you have a great night, sweetheart. Um, now, where I started this was in between two different sets of colors. That's where I started it. All right, so I started that in between two sets of colors. Okay, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish these branches off with my smaller brush. And then there's another tree right here in the front. All right, two sets of colors, right? Here's yellow, here's red. I'm going to start right where the colors meet. And we're just going to put in the bigger tree. Okay. And again, you're going to come back and do the cardboard trick on this tree. Okay, so then you just want your bigger tree. And if you get a thick trunk, you just work backwards. So say this came out really thick. I'm going to go back, 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 making everything thicker on the way back. Good night, Penny. Good night, Becky. Good night, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to grab uh, Mr. Nifty. I'm gonna grab Mr. Nifty and you and you put in the smaller branches with a smaller brush. Again, make sure your paint is nice and loose and thin. Okay, I put some laying on the ground over here for the one that's busted. Okay, your trees, your world, make them any way you want them to be. Then we have our foliage that's on the tree. So I'm going to swirl, tap, dab, fluffy. Good night, sweetheart. And, um, okay, there's pieces that were up here. So swirl, tap, dab, fluffy. So... Again, if you're doing spring, you do green. If you're doing, um, say, Eve, get clean yellow paint. Eve, get clean yellow paint, Eve. <laughs> See, I can, I can tell you guys, like, don't do this and don't do that because um, I do it myself. <laughs> and I'm wondering why I'm getting all these weird colors. Well, that's because I didn't grab clean yellow paint. <laughs> All right, clean yellow, all right, tapping it into there, clean red, tapping it into there, do a little tap, tap, okay, and then very, very lightly, I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to tap in very lightly, just using the tip of that brush, okay, here, there, not everywhere, I'm going to tap in these foliage moments that are happening right there on the top of the tree okay right there okay and uh, on these guys right here all right very light taps letting the brush do the work if you start to push harder that means you need to grab more paint so, fluffy brush with all those little, lovely little things on the tip. See all those lovely little pieces like sticking out all over the place? Those are my friends. Grabbing red, grabbing yellow, smash, smash once or twice. Coming in here, light taps. Light, light, light taps. That's it. Okay, and then this guy, All right, and depending what season you're doing, those are the colors you want to grab. Okay, so depending on what season you're doing, those are the colors that you want to grab. 
And then the big guy over here, I'm grabbing white with those colors. And uh, you would do, th do this guy in two layers. So you would do white first. Because he's so close, his colors are going to pop. Now, this step with the foliage, with the trees, obviously you're going to do all of your flowers and everything else first. All right? I didn't do it. I showed you how to do it. But you would fill in your, all, your whole area with those flowers first, okay, before you start doing the foliage for the trees. All right? 6,000%. And also... Um, that being said, like where this is, now I'm going to tap in some even brighter areas. Alright, so once that dries, if you're doing all the foliage for the bottom parts, then you could do, um, you know, depending on how many layers you want to do for your foliage on the bottom parts. Okay. And you just grab, right, more layers, the more realistic it's going to look. And honestly, it's the same thing we've been doing this whole time, except you're tapping in different colors. Right? Just tapping in different colors, okay, to get those bright pops of, um, like, flower areas, areas that would be flowers. All right? So you can do taps like that. Okay, Elizabeth, have a good night, right? I'm going to grab my fluffy brush. You can do flicky-doos, okay? There's flicky-doos. You can do flicky-doos like this. Okay, so it's your world. It's up to you. Um, just make sure that between each layer, it dries. Make sure it dries in between each layer before you go back and add some more. The more layers you do, the more realistic it's going to look. Okay, definitely tap where your trees are coming out, right? You definitely want to add extra stuff going on where the trees are coming out to hide those bottoms. All right. And you can add more um, definition to your path. All right. Again, just grabbing different colors depending on what season you're doing. And you just put in, like I said, bigger swipes here. Okay. Bigger swipes in the front. Smaller swipes back in here. Okay. If you lost your mist... Once you're done with your path, you can put your mist back in. Same process that we did before. All right. Small amounts of white paint. Swirly do's. Okay. I'm using a really small brush to do this with. But if you lost your mist, you could always put in some mist moments. Back in. Finger works great for blending that out. And you have how to do the details on the trees. So unless you guys need to see anything else, that's, thank you so much for the stars, Elizabeth. That's really all there is to show you. All right, you guys can finish this up. You add your foliage, you add your little birch moments onto your trees. Like I said, you wait in between the layers to dry to add the flower areas, right? So, and again, you're just putting color on top of color and making them brighter and brighter. That's it. And depending on what season you pick, that's the colors you're going to use. So, let me know if there's anything else that you need to see from me to finish your painting up. But you guys got this. You have everything you need. <laughs> you have everything you need. 6,000%. All right. So, to all the new peeps, I hope you come back for some more torture. 
All right, to my fan that's uh, tried and true, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, this was fun. Had a great night. Good night, Gail. Have a good night. And uh, on the event page is a spot to post your creations. So when you're done, uh, whenever you finish them, doesn't matter. Um, you can post your creations there because we share as a fam. So 6,000%. Good night, Tammy. Uh, you can post your creations there. Again, Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. If you're not doing the stars, thank you guys so much for the stars this evening. You guys do keep the lights on. 6,000%. You're so welcome, Debbie. And um, next Friday is going to be a Mardi Gras theme. I'm going to finish that up this weekend. You're so welcome, Sandy. Uh, in two... Um, You like to seal, um, how I seal my paintings, Carolyn? Uh, you're so welcome, Amanda. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I actually use, uh, clear coat spray. Good night, Irene. It was great to see you again. Th thank you for the stars. Um, I buy, uh, clear and, um, spray can. Depending on the finish you want, matte satin or gloss, and I just sweep very lightly a layer, let it dry, do another layer, let it dry, depending on what you're going for. If you're going, if you want something really shiny, you know you do a few coats of gloss. If you want just a nice uh, matte finish, but you want it sealed, you know you do one or two of matte. Oh, thank you so much, Don. I appreciate that. Yeah, Krylon. Krylon's one and rust Oleum's the other one. Mm-hmm. I'll go grab one. Hold on. Now, you don't have to seal acrylic. You really don't um, because the way it dries, it's on there. Um, but this is... Uh... And this is... Uh... Gloss Crystal Clear Coat. Light sweeps. Outside. <laughs> Let it dry. And it, depending on what you're going for, um, if you have a piece that you're painting and you want it to go outside, about six layers of this stuff, it can go outside. So, thank you so much, Donna. You guys also, uh, on my little video snippets that I, I uh, do, um, you can do stars on there, too. I noticed that. There is a, a stars button on those little video clips. <laughs> Definitely outside. You enjoy your weekend too, Carolyn. You're welcome. <laughs> you will be back. All right. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Awesome, Donna. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Donna. Uh, every Friday, 7 o'clock, same bat channel, same bat place. I'm in New Jersey, so it is the East Coast. And um, just look for my events that are posted. And um, uh, you loved uh, the video clip of him. Uh, he had that, like, perfectly positioned where you could see the label. It reminded me of, like, he was doing a commercial. <laughs> He's snoozing right now. Oh, and I finished that cinnamon bun finally. I finished it this morning. That's how long it took me to eat that thing. <laughs> that cinnamon bun was huge. <laughs> All right, guys, if there's no more questions for me, um, those of you watching the replay, if you have a question, just message me. 
That message button on the top of my page is the way to get in touch with me. I have the painting shirts as merch. I have brush sets. Paint kits are coming out. Ooh, I let it slip. So paint kits will be coming out too real soon. Uh, if you would like any of that stuff, uh, message me at the top of my page. That's the easiest way and fastest way to get her done. All right. I love you all. Y'all were my heart. Have fun and go create. Mwah. Good night, everybody.